start recording and that's loud that's real loud god damn it's also very bright bright ass screen video game that made you think about the world in a new way The Harvest Moon slash Stardew Valley games, man. <laughs> oh, you know what's actually like... <clears throat> um, Tale of Two Brothers or something like that, maybe? I can't remember the exact name of it. But like, that's... It's a really good, relatively short game. And, um... I would say that it gave me a bit of a new view on the world, you know? It's just a very heartfelt tale. The like, not necessarily like the world, I guess, but maybe offered a little bit of introspective uh, change. This menu is very weird for a Pac-Man game. <laughs> Like, with, with this loud-ass, like, calming music. And just, like, the sky and stuff. Fallout would be one. Also, Borderlands, funnily enough. How's that, my guy? I'm not, like, down-talking your shit, but I'm actually just curious. Like, how did Fallout or Borderlands change your worldview? Legitimately just curious. Junior! 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 Junior, you didn't happen to see the... Oh, thanks, Schnooky. Happen to see any sign of the birthday boy? Did someone say cake? Mmm, cherry meringue sugar stuffed power pellet a l'orange? You shouldn't have. Well, you only turned 25 once. It just sounds so... old. Ah, oh, sweetie, you're only as 25 as you feel. Thanks, honey. You and Junior are the best presents I ever had. What is this and you're dude? right. I look fantastic. Is something wrong? Honey, my pack sense is tingling. Oh, what the fuck? Dude just teleported the hell out of there. I forgot to change. Wait, didn't I? Pack, get down from there. You're not 24 anymore, you know. But. I'm not doing anything. So work with me, you spark showering excuse from microcircuitry. Okay, honey, it was funny once. Are they trying to steal him? Everything or is this like obviously it's not working the way the ghost wants, but is this all accidental or like This birthday's still better than my 20th. Yeah! Hate to see it, my guy. <sighs> Happy birthday, dear. It's weird how she's not even questioning, like, what the hell's going on, you know? It's just like, why is he doing this? <laughs> like, just blaming him for it. I don't think he wants this to happen. That seemed pretty clear. Follow more so the fact that even when all has gone to shit, there's still a chance to build or do good. I was kind of expecting something about, you know, like, nuclear weapons bad. Um, <laughs> but I can see where you're coming from with it, though. Sure. Even though I feel like there's a lot more bad in the Fallout universe than, <laughs> than there is good. Exact that's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the signal's bad here. Some idiot teleported me into a pit. Is that clear? You shouldn't rush to judgment, Pac-Man. Teleportation is not so easy. Orson? Is that you? Are you by any chance the idiot of whom we speak? I had pinpoint control of the porter until you squirm. I would port you again, but I can't lock on. Where are you? I'm in some sort of landfill pit. There's green goo, some trash-looking junk, and it smells really bad in here. Really? 
The fuck is this, dude? <laughs> Why do we? <laughs> Who is Orso? I don't remember. I don't remember him from like Pac-Man World 2. How's it control? Can we charge up? Okay, we can charge up. Oh. We can punch. Find all the fruit on each level to gain a special bonus. We can pogo. Or not really pogo, I guess, but ground pound. Can we pogo? We need, like, real enemies. Oh, we can only do it three times, though, but the third time has, like, a little shockwave thing coming off of it, so that's interesting. Assassin's Creed really got me thinking quite a few things, just the way perspective changes everything. I don't know, man. <laughs> Assassin's Creed... I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> like when I was younger, I feel like I thought it felt a little deep. But like, the older I get, the more I just don't care for Assassin's Creed. I guess. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I don't know. I I became disenchanted with the franchise. You know, like it's not bad or anything. It's just, I don't know. Oh shit. Taking hits already. When did Pac Man become like an arena fighter, dude? We done now? Can I? Do we have anything else? Okay, that's camera. That just shows our status on everything. I was hoping, oh shit, it's not a double jump. <laughs> I was hoping there was like a uh, way to run is what I was actually hoping for. I'll take that health though. I wonder if collecting the pellets does anything for us or if it's just for points. Where I couldn't jump there. That was weird. It's 25th anniversary Pac-Man statue. Find all five in a level to get a bonus. I have full health. That's why I can't collect that. That makes sense. Something about the movement feels a little weird. I think it's how jerky the camera is. Do we have like, and the options, can we do anything with the camera? No. Not really, huh? Oh no, 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 don't restart level. You want a Gax remake? I've never actually played Gax before that I can think of. It's one of those games that have always been on my radar, but I've never actually, you know, given a chance. I remember it, but never played it. I would like, there's a lot of games that I'd like a remake or reboot of, man. Most of them more of a remake than a reboot. Something like Jack and Daxter, for instance, I think would be better on, like, the reboot. Oh, bro, I thought the gas was gone. I think it would be better on, like, the reboot front. But then, like, a game like Legend of Dragoon, I think would be better for, like, a, a remake. Um, would be really cool. Um, uh, I mentioned Final Fantasy VII last time. Like getting just <laughs> just a turn-based remake of it done <laughs> would be really cool. Um, instead of this, what they're calling a remake, but I feel like is more of a reboot. Who dumps a um, giant Who made all this weird junk? Spyro, because they did like the Spyro one, two, and three recently, right? Like a handful of years ago, but they didn't do like. 
They didn't do any more after that, which I found weird. You know, like they did with Crash. Like they did the Crash 1, 2, 3, and then they released Crash 4. So I don't... I, it would be cool if they made like a Spyro 4, you know? It, more in the vein of... The original Spyro games. That would be pretty cool. Um... Monster Rancher? I'm pretty sure they released a Mon Monster Rancher game recently, but like... The old Monster Rancher games where you put a disc in the system and then that disc changed what like creatures you got. That was pretty cool. You've been playing Dragoon lately? You don't think it age well? I haven't played Dragoon since I was young. <laughs> Man, it has been a long time. I do want to replay it, but I don't own a physical copy of it. I have a digital copy. Actually, I think I have two. So I'm pretty sure I own it on PlayStation Network and then... Wasn't Legend of Dragoon on the uh, PlayStation Mini? Why am I here? Would you believe me if I said the whole world was in danger? Let me get back to you on that, buddy. I could be mistaken on that, but I think it was. Regardless, I definitely own a PlayStation Network copy of it. So I've been meaning to replay it. I just haven't gotten around to it. I should load it up on my PSP and play it soon. Wait, where are we actually meant to be going? How do you get that down there? These levels are a lot larger than they were in Pac-Man World 2, I feel like. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing or anything. There's definitely more of a combat focus, which I'm not sure how I feel about that, though. <laughs> I don't feel like Pac-Man World 2's strong point was ever combat. It was more, you know... Oh, this is an actual wall? What? Did I grab it? What is that? What is that animation? I thought maybe I could, like, wall jump, but no. It looks... It looks like he's grabbing on, but I think that's just what happens when you run into a wall. Like, run and jump into a wall. Weird. Okay. Guess there's nothing else to do over here. But yeah, no, I do want to replay it, though. I also really want to play Final Fantasy IX here soon. I do own a copy of that. I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. But after playing Final Fantasy VIII... And it must have been, like, a year ago now. And not really loving it. Right? Like, it was a good game, but... Kind of middling. After playing that, I've really been wanting to play uh, VIII... Because honestly, 8 always looked more interesting to me anyways. And eventually I just want to play through all of them, so. I'm going to get the... Bro, what did I get hit by then? That gas was gone, dude. I refuse to believe anything else. Oh, so you can jump. Oh, that's weird. You have to, you run into a wall and then press circle to wall jump. Why wouldn't it just be X, man? I guess because of the ground pound, but honestly, I would rather wall jump be X and ground pound be circle in the air than the way they have it set up. That feels weird to me. It's weird how, like, these little tiny slopes make you roll away, man. <laughs> like, that's some weird level. Oh, God. Okay. And that right there is why I don't like it. Oh, God. Tried to replay 8 and 9, but kept getting distracted. I mean, personally, I, I'd i say you can safely skip not or 8, man. <laughs> like, that's tough. Oh. Oh, we jumped in between it. God, gamers. Let Garbage. Um. Anyways, that's just my personal opinion, though. 
card games are available too early and it derails you. I never got that into eights card game. I know a lot of people really love it. I didn't hate it or anything. I did play it a few times uh, throughout the game, like but like I never got that into it. Sort of works. I don't really know anything about nines card game. Oh shit. Now, I never really thought about it, but they did just kind of, like, stop out of nowhere putting, like, mini games into their game, huh? Because, like, I guess it started with 12, right? Because 10 had Blitz, of course. 9 and 8 had uh, the card games. I guess 7 didn't really have, like, one mini game. They had the... Uh, Golden Saucer, of course, if you wanted to fuck around for a bit and just play all different kinds of mini games. And then, I mean, some could call <laughs> Chocobo Breeding a mini game, I guess. But then, like, once you got to, to 12, that just kind of stopped. 10 2 has Sphere Break? What the hell is Sphere Break? I need to play 10 2 one of these days, too, because I just want to play all of them, honestly. And I will. Seven had a bunch. Yeah, like I said, if you count the Golden Saucer, then Seven had all kinds of stuff, but... And then I never played much of, like, the classic ones besides one. So I don't know about, like, six or anything like that, but I don't think those ones really had them. I know... I don't know if it was just, like, the Game Boy Advance version or what, but one of them had, uh... Like, some sort of... What was it? Uh, one, a jigsaw puzzle that you could play. But it might have just been the uh, Game Boy Advance remake of it that had that. Oh, yeah. Seven did have a... Uh, well, Seven, like, remake. <laughs> uh, did have, like, the, the squats and the dartboard. I kind of forgot about them. But 13, nothing that I can think of. 14... Is an MMO, so I'm not going to count it. 15 did have the pinball machine. And Chocobo Racing. 16, though... Nothing, right? And 16 outside of hunts? Which... I don't really consider a mi mini game so much as just like a side quest sort of thing. Pinball was ass. Yeah, no, it really wasn't great. Honestly, what I did for pinball whenever I needed to grind out some of it uh, back in the day, not on the PlayStation because I didn't have a choice on the PlayStation, but on PC, I just set up a macro <laughs> on my keyboard and uh, or mouse. I forget exactly how the controls worked for it. Regardless, it wasn't smart in any way. It just repeated the same inputs over and over so again, but that was good enough to win like 80% of the time. <laughs> So, like, I would just start up a game of it, hit the macro key, watch a YouTube video or something, and then just repeat over and over again. And, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's how I did that. Two questions. Did you feed her? That's only one question. Yeah, no, I fed her a little. I'm just going to ignore that. Um... Which card did you want me to use? You're going to try to figure out how to save it now. Um, the Capital One card. You can only chomp blue spectral creatures. Okay. Bro, that wasn't nice. <laughs> I ate the pellet. The animation caused me to get hit. That was trash. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, they're fast boys, too. Are there more power pellets around here? There are. <laughs> uh, there we go. Are they going to keep respawning? or? I want to collect all these regular pellets on the ground, but these bros be rude. Oh, they do keep respawning. Dicks. Oh, God, dude. There's a lot of them. Can they come up or can they only go down there? 
I'm gonna lay down on the couch. Can't guarantee you won't fall asleep. Okay. I'll wake you up if you do, love. I'm gonna, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna try not to go too late tonight because I also want to go to bed at a reasonable time to get up tomorrow. And then I know you're exhausted from helping out your mom and everything as well, so. It's just shout out to Noodle, man. She's been a huge help for her mother lately. And trust me, that's no easy task. <laughs> like... One of these days, I need to figure out exactly what I want to, uh... What exactly I want to ask, but there's a couple polls that I want to put up on, um... Just to the community in general. Different, like, game design questions, honestly. Um, Whoa. like, you know, people's preferences for games and different things. I need a mint. But my brain's not working <laughs> enough at the moment to think of what exactly <laughs> it is it that I want to ask. Irwin, which is why they're in a seriously bad mood. The spectral realm? Don't you ghosts have something to do with that? It's our home, too. Now can you see why I need your help? I don't know exactly what Irwin's up to, but it involves my home, which is why I'm in a seriously bad mood. Come and find me at the outpost. It's just a little bit further. Okay. I still want to know who the hell this guy is. I, I 100 percented to the best of my memory, I 100 percented um, Pac-Man World 2 back in the day, and I cannot for the life of me remember this or so, or well, whatever the hell the guy's name was. And he's too buddy-buddy with Pac-Man to just be, like, a character made up completely for this game, right? I feel like the dev team is also the voice acting team. Bruh, I hope so. That'd be great. Honestly, it's not the worst voice acting I've ever heard, you know? I played a lot of games from the 90s, and, like, it could certainly be worse. The writing, though, is a little, a little hit or miss, I feel like. <laughs> I don't feel like most of it was necessary, I think is a, a fair thing to say. Okay, I think that's all of the fruits, right? Or no, cherries, okay. Perform a rev roll while standing on this pad to activate the missionary, okay. They all sound like computer science majors, yeah. Okay. I can see what you're saying. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this, I guess. Oh, okay. It's one of these. Does D-pad work? It does, thankfully. The real question is, what kind of AI are they using? Is it like classic Pac-Man AI, or... Honestly, I've never been that great at Pac-Man either way, but but if it is, that would help. I don't like this far side of the board, man. I am struggling to like go down the turns that I want to go down and whatnot. What is that? Oh, whatever. I ate it. I don't even know, like, why I'm trying to go for a high score. I'm assuming all we need to do is complete it. Okay. <laughs> we didn't get anything for it or anything? That's weird. I mean, it's a Pac-Man game. It's cool that they put in Pac-Man stuff, like classic Pac-Man stuff mazes, whatever the hell they want to call them. Just odd, though. I thought it would, like, unlock something, maybe. Bro, we just teleported to the center of that platform. Oh, we're going for high scores on the levels now? Okay. I think... Oh, shit, dude. Um... 
<laughs> my brain stopped working. I almost put my real initials. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. We are stew. There we go. Save. I need a nap, man. That's what the fuck I need. Uh, save game progress. Sure. The menus on this one make me feel like it was a little bit of a cash grab. The menus are very basic. The menus look like something I would make for a game, you know? <laughs> Yeah, man, you really need an app. <laughs> like, I'm not far away at all. We're on two completely different levels of nap needing right now. Yeah, well, I mean, they're talking about him being 25 and everything, so I have to assume it was literally his 25th anniversary. Especially since they have like the classic maze sections and all of like the voice acting and stuff put into it. That, I mean like, I'm pretty sure, what is this? Okay, so I think we're invincible at the moment, but is there anything else? No, we're not strong or anything. We are leaving behind a weird trail, but... Anyways, yeah, no, I definitely think it was a, a little bit of a crash grab. Cash grab. 25th anniversary cash grab. Maybe influenced a little bit by Jack and Daxter slash, uh... Rodney Raccoon. The fuck's his name, dude? The Last of the Wombacks? Ratchet and Clank. Jesus, man. My head is not here. I apologize. My head is already in the bed behind me, sleeping. You added it? Thanks, love. I need to remember to add mine, too, for my order, but we'll uh, hopefully remember to do that before too late. Uh, shit, I keep trying to press circle to attack. The Ancients? Really? We got like some world building lore going on here? Bruh, I hate these little freaking bugs. To be frank, Namco was still struggling at this point. We only have Pac-Man and Tekken. Tekken wasn't doing so well on PS2. Really? I honestly didn't know that Tekken was uh, struggling on PS2. So they released a few Tekken games on PS2, right? And I thought they did relatively well. Or at least I thought they were relatively good games. I guess I have no idea, like, how they did sale-wise. Like, sales figures-wise. I just know I enjoyed playing one or two of them with my cousin growing up. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all I knew. Jokes aside, though, I'm a little surprised that they haven't done more Pac-Man games like this. You know, with, like, lore building and all that. I, just, I could see Pac-Man being basically Sonic, Namco Sonic, you know? Just doing all kinds of wild stuff with it, trying to just see what sticks and turning it into a, a modern-day franchise. Because obviously the classic games did really well, but after that, yeah, they struggled a bit, man. People didn't like 4 or 5 was rough too, but got an updated version later on. Tag did well. I think Tech and Tag is the one that me and my cousin played, I think. It was the one with bowling. I remember that much. Oh, 
update on my hole, by the way. <laughs> for, for anybody that wants to hear about my hole. Um. Oh. Uh, we can cause explosions with this? Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, I think it's closed now. It still doesn't look great. But I'm pretty sure my hole has closed, so that's cool. Um, I've been able to wear deodorant on that arm, so that's pretty sick. Happy about that. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. It hasn't been producing, as far as I can tell, it hasn't been producing like pus or anything. That's why I'm pretty sure it's completely closed at this point. Because it looked like it had been closing for a while, but it was still producing pus. So, like, I'm, I'm assuming that meant that it was still open. Uh, the second thing that's been forming in my arm hasn't done anything, really. I think it may have gone a little bit smaller, but the first one got smaller, and then larger, and then smaller, and then larger, and then turned into a hole, so... We'll see. I'm not holding my breath on it. <laughs> just bought some moo glue and been done with it. <laughs> honestly, though, man. Glue that bitch shut and call it a day. No, honestly, though, like... I guess because it was an abscess, right, is why they didn't. But I, I was a little bit surprised that just because of the size of the hole and how long it stayed open, I was a little bit surprised that they didn't, you know, stitch it shut or anything. I guess the position of it was also a little bit awkward. The only thing I can think, they never said why they didn't close it, but my best guess is because it was an abscess, they just wanted any sort of like bacteria or virus or whatever caused it, presumably bacteria, to be able to drain out easily. I know when I had a uh, large cyst that got infected and turned into a uh, pretty nasty abscess on my stomach, they left it open for that reason. Um, so yeah. That and with infections, it's better to let it drain. They don't fully stitch dog bites. Ah, see, I didn't know that they didn't fully stitch dog bites. But, yeah, I did. I did know that infections, sometimes they, uh, they leave them open to drain. Still just kind of annoying, mostly because of where it was. If it was anywhere else on my body, I don't think I really would have cared. But because it was on my armpit, like, I couldn't wear deodorant, and that was so annoying, man. Like, I washed it a couple of times a day with, uh iodine to kill any bacteria or anything and since I was doing the hole I did my entire armpit <laughs> you know so it wouldn't stink too much but it was still annoying you say that this Irwin guy is messing with the spectral realm no wonder the spectral dudes are upset not only are they outcast themselves but now their home isn't even their own yes but they're vicious little creeps anyway so don't feel too sorry for them I feel bad for the guys. They've lost their home. They're being bothered. And <laughs> the other dude's just like, yeah, but fuck them, dude. They're weird. <laughs> like, wow. Horse is kind of a dick, huh? Give me oh, you dick. Whatever. Where haven't we been? Isn't there somewhere up here we can go? Yeah. How do we get up there, though? Hmm. Oh shit, I think I hit X too many times. I know in, in 2 you could do like a, a charge jump like that to go farther distances. Hmm, apparently not that far. Okay, important to know once you jump off of a wall you can't change your trajectory. Like, you're just, you have to go that direction now, which is fair. Damn, dude, it looks so close, but no, I guess not. Maybe we have to, like, jump down once we get over, like, up there. Well, what's in here? Is this, this might actually be the right way to go. Yeah, that looks too long to be the wrong way. So let's go up first. 
I don't know why I'm caring, man. It's not like we're going to finish this game today. But I, I can't help it. There was one stupid pellet. Why did I go back for it? This is just a waste of time. It's a pack dot chain machine. Chomp on the red pack dot to take a ride. Okay. Where are we where are we riding to? Oh shit, you know what? It did show us that pack dot actually chain thing. So maybe that's actually the right way to go. We should go the other way first. Can I not jump up on that? Oh wait. Hold on. Over here. And then wall jump. What do you do? Oh, look at that. Okay. Is it a timed thing or does it go up and down? Can I like drop it a little bit? No, it's just up now. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it is a time thing then and I just need to hurry up and get my ass over there. Oh, we can wall, of course. That makes sense. Dope. I hate this camera. <laughs> it's so jerky, man. It just moves around so much. Screw you guys. You bastard. I mean, we have health out the ass. I'm assuming each one of those full pack circles we have is another health bar. And I don't think we've lost more than two health at a time, not even one full bar. It's so, like, we should be fine. Granted, we are in the second level of the game. I'm sure it'll get harder as we go. Give me fruit. Fruit sounds good. I should buy fruit soon. Noodle, if you can hear and you remember, let's put fruit on the shopping list. I want fruit. Damn it, dude. I was... Huh! I don't know if it's like latency that's screwing me or what, but oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> but like, I'm not turning when I want to turn. God, <laughs> god, I can chase him in circles, man. Oh god. What is with this music, man? This is like some banjo and kazooie shit. That's a game, man. Banjo-Kazooie. I would love to have some more, like, proper Banjo-Kazooie games. That would be pretty sick. I love Banjo. Oh, you fuck. I did. <laughs> I don't know why I just ran right into him. Oh, God. Do you need... Uh, bread, meat, and carrots. Okay. We have some food money, so we can get a little bit. One benefit of getting the uh, meal kit, again, that we've been getting is don't need to buy just as many groceries in general. What is the point of those little bug enemies? I feel like they are here just to be annoying, man. They don't seem to serve a purpose otherwise. Why ever it's vibrating, I'm sure it's not that important. Do we need to go to the store after I get you? No. I don't think so. I mean, if... Oh, shit, you have spikes on your back. If you're wanting to go to the store for something, we can. But I don't think we need to go. Like, I can pick up 
if we just need a couple of things. Or we can do like an online order and pick it up on Monday or something. Fuck. <clears throat> That was a loading hallway if I ever saw one. Are they calling him old? I mean, in the world of video games, I guess he's up there, but like, he's only 25 years old at this point. It's not that old. Do you want me Yugi? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Bruh, just imagine him just popping up out of nowhere. This fucking puzzle takes over Pac-Man. And suddenly we're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I wish they would make more for Yu-Gi-Oh. They would make more just like regular card game games, you know? That would be pretty sick, man. Because, like, don't get me wrong. I enjoy, like, Duelist of the Roses and stuff. But the rules are so damn confusing. <laughs> like, I don't I don't understand it, man, with all the fusion and shit that they have. It'd be sick if they made more just like regular card game ones, but like with a story. Like Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Duel Link. I do plan on trying it out one of these days. But I haven't yet. I also would love if they would do more of that with Pokemon. It's like, I love Pokemon TCG for the Game Boy. That was a fun time. A little bit easy, in my opinion. Um, either that or I just got really lucky with the, the deck that I built super early on. Because I literally, like... I beat the first gym while making little to no changes to my deck. And then... Um, after beating the first gym, I made a couple of changes. And then I didn't have to change anything else on my deck except for one gym in the game. Like, the game was just a little too easy, and I only ever lost a couple of duels. But it was a fun time. Like, I really enjoyed it. I would love if they made more Pokemon TCG games where you just play the Pokemon TCG. Do we have to, like, maybe we have to collect these in order or something, because I have no way to get up there. Can't see what's down here. Ooh, hi, fruit. This is climbable, right? Yeah. Damn you. Just, just like clipping through the ground there. That was pretty sick. Another one over there. The game is super quiet now. Which is a little unsettling. Also, we're dead. Hopefully that doesn't, like, reset the whole level. Like, all the enemies and shit. God damn it. <laughs> did we have to recollect stuff, though? Or did we keep all of the collectibles that we grabbed? So, okay. So, what does this actually do? Okay, we run faster. Oh, if we make a circle with it that's when it blows up okay so you could just like run circles around your enemies and i'm assuming if anything that's in it just dies it might just damage them i don't know frame rate's kind of shit dude that was rude Needs red crystals to activate. 
Well, look at that. There just so happens to be a red crystal literally right there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't jump in the gross water. It's good to know your sense of humor is still working. <laughs> What are we doing? Just get the crystal and see where we go, where it takes us. After we grab the fruit, cause fruit. Oh shit, fuck. Oh, do we need it like that bad, love? Cause I was thinking like, not necessarily grabbing it tomorrow, but I can. I, I'll probably have time. If not, then whatever. We can go back to the store after I get you. Whatever we have to do, we'll figure it out. Can't just grab the green crystal while you're up there. Just, like, stick your arm out, man. You were pretty close to it. Might have enough meat and bread for one more day. Okay. I have faith. Wait, did that lower all of them? Also brought out more enemies, so that's fun. And grab the green boy since we're here. Okay. But I don't need to though. I understand we can use it for a pack dot chain, but if the goal is just to get that other one, I already know how to get up there without without a pack dot chain. Is that a skip? Did we inadvertently find a uh, a skip? We're gonna try. Let's see if it works. Wait, how do we get up there? Hmm. I don't know, whatever. I'm more curious now to know if we found a skip. Where was it? It was that over there, okay. It's probably not faster than actually like doing what we're supposed to do, but It looks very conveniently placed, which almost does make me think that, like, they knew you could go this way. Wait, wasn't it the green one that we made it to before? Or the blue one? Maybe it was the green one. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Yeah, it must have been, because I don't see any way up there from here. So never mind, no skips for us. Sucks to suck. Oh, you're a freaking spiky boy. Fall. Fall to your death. Get wrecked. <laughs> Bruh, get out of the wall. What are you doing? Don't break the laws of physics. Oh, there's the green crystal, though. Or the green pack dot thing. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Calm down. <laughs> Why are you making all them noises? I don't like the music cutting out. It's weird. It's too quiet. Oh, fuck, dude. Wait, that just brought us to here. Which, I mean, from here we can go over there where we just were. Oh, dude, yeah, okay, it's just... <laughs> Fuck, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's just go around. 
It's like, <laughs> you don't need a skip. You just need to keep running, my guy. Ah, I remember this little platform now. I'm not, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. Is my game like, no. I was going to say, maybe my disc is dirty or something. And that's why it stopped with the music. But no, it's done it twice now. I think the audio track is just too short and it doesn't replay for some reason. It's weird playing through the game with nothing but like jumping sound effects and random grunt grunts from the enemies. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. Oop, get wrecked. Now use the green to get to the blue. That's terribly. Where was the green, anyways? What, like a biscuit maker? Nah, I had enough biscuits with dinner. Thank you, though. Bro, we've hit the green one twice now. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Um, I'm lost. Obviously, it's not over here with these dicks. There's the red one, but we don't care about the red one. Is it up here somewhere? I'm inclined to say no based on, like, there being all the pack dots over here. Ah, there it is. Okay. We just didn't go far enough. I was asleep. I was falling asleep. Fuck. I want to get to the end of this level, though. I'm wondering if there's going to be, like, a uh, boss or anything. That'd be kind of fun. Well, <laughs> I guess it depends on the boss whether it'd be fun or not. But it'd be neat to see. I do, I do want to see if there is one. This is giving off some major Scooby-Doo energy, man. Flying through the air, eating food. Can't tell me that's not Scooby-Doo shit. Okay, so I just gotta draw a circle around you guys. Wait, what? Hold on, excuse me? There it goes. <laughs> okay, so the circle it closes itself eventually. It's not like infinite length. I mean, that's fine. That's fair. But I did not realize that before. So it kind of confused me. Now where do we take this to? Was it up here? I'm guessing that's at the top of the stairs. Pretty sure there was some kind of door up here at least. Right? This? Ha! Ah, right there. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm busy. There's robots! It's the robot from Borderlands, man! Hi! I forget your name, but... Clap! Clap! Clap trap! <laughs> I, I, I want to say clap trap. Well, he's dead now. Turns out Claptrap was the enemy all along. There's weird techno stuff here, Orse. Yours? Heavens, no! Shoddy craftsmanship like that. It all belongs to Irwin. He's building spectral siphons all over the place. Keep stockpiling raw materials. I'd like you to disrupt, distress, and otherwise blow up anything of his you see. Please. 
rude, but okay. I'm always happy to blow shit up, my guy. Can't tell if the door opened because we blew all that up or if it was just like a location-based trigger. We missed that dot back there that was part of the chain and it's bugging the hell out of me. <laughs> I was so tempted to turn around and grab it, man. But I was like, I controlled myself though. Orson. I'd claim to be pleased to see you, but you messed up my party and threw me into a trash pit where lots of things with big pointy teeth tried to turn me into lunch. This is serious, Pac-Man. Erwin is so hungry for power that he's siphoning energy from the spectral realm. So what can I do? For starters, Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde have disappeared. I fear the worst. I want you to go to the spectral realm and check things out. A trip to a doomed place that's full of ghosts and spectral monsters. Hey, count me yes, in. Yes, the home of Good. our sworn enemy, that, the ghosts. I want you to help me calibrate Talkman. Talkman? You have a new Talkman? A new big giant robot Talkman? More than a normal giant robot Pac-Man. Fifteen tons of the most state-of-the-art. That sounds somewhat familiar. Maybe he was in place. the second game, and my memory's cool. just failing me. Just try not to break this one, huh? No oh, shit. Okay. How to R2 left or right punches. Is there any reason to alternate our punches? Hold square to activate super spin. Ah, okay. I thought it was like a charge and like go sort of thing. No. I really don't think there's any reason to switch your attack arm, like... Seems like the best thing to do is just keep hitting it. From holding square. That overheat bar was definitely full. Are you worth like extra points, Mr. Red Guy? Is this really just another like high point mini game though? Because I noticed the clock just keeps counting down and our score keeps going up. It's not that bad of a pause. It's a pretty short pause, all things considered. Ah! That's our fucking name now. <laughs> Just... Level complete! Uh, sure, we'll save. I think that's going to be it for Pac-Man World 3. I definitely like 2 better, but I wouldn't mind finishing it one of these days. I don't think I'm going to put it on the list. We'll see. If we like play Pac-Man World 2 and people want to see 3 afterwards or something, maybe we will. But it's not draw me in as much. I like, I like platforming games more than I like uh, half-assed action-adventure games, I guess. Knock off dude from the Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't remember his name, but what do you want this time? You ever heard of Pinky and Clyde? No, he hasn't. No one's heard of our friends Pinky and Clyde. You two want to give me a break back there? No. Aside no, I don't. Last two ghosts, the spectral realm is almost empty. It's ready for the siphons to begin. 
Yes, well, thanks. It's been real. Off you go. What about the new problem? The new yellow problem? If you're talking about... He's talking about us, my guy. Like... Not very nice to call us a problem, you know. Same. It's real mood there, dude. Dr. Finkenstein meets Red Skull. Yeah, there he <laughs> Yes. Exactly, man. I feel like the the little orange dude, though, is going to be the, the true villain of the game, you know? And Dr. Nefarious there was just kind of a Whoa, scapegoat. Um, wow. Wow. What is this place, Orson? It what is this place, Orson? It's weird. Yeah, it's weird, but <laughs> I don't care enough to find out right now. No, guys. Like I said, I'm going to let Noodle go to bed. I'm going to get a shower and probably go to bed soon myself. So that's going to be all for tonight. Hopefully tomorrow night will be a normal night. And uh, hopefully within the next week or two, we'll be able to get back into the normal streaming schedule. We'll see how things go with Noodle's mother. But, uh... I've missed a couple of days, and I mean, like, I personally miss them, um, because <laughs> there's games I want to play. Speaking of, that is one other thing. I did order a few games. I can't remember which ones off the top of my head, but, uh, they were games that I was actually interested in playing, though, so that's fun, uh, but whatever. Whenever they actually get here, I'll make sure to let everybody know them. Um, yeah, no. See you guys tomorrow for Baldur's Gate. Anybody who can be there, I hope you join and enjoy and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> Have a good night, guys, and uh, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Yes, it is. It is what it is. Uh, Citadel Rage, that should be more than enough to kill this little dude.